Hi, this is Randy again, and I'm going to explain how I'm mounting my end stop for my Y carriage. So, uh, I got the end stops from Rep Rep Discount, I got the metal from Rep Rep Discount, but of course the holes in the PCB don't match the holes in the metal. The holes in the metal were designed to accommodate a standard momentary contact switch, and uh, this PCB, which I like a lot, uh, has different holes. So I'm actually going to use one of the existing holes. I'm going to use the Hall Effect sensor. Use a screwdriver to line it up. I'm going to mark the spot for the second hole that I'm going to add. I'm going to use a punch to do this. So I'm going to get the board straight. I've got a screwdriver lining up the first hole. Go in the second hole. I'm going to... There. All right should be straight and now I'll go drill that and uh, come back and show us more video. Thanks. Okay, I'm uh, finishing up adjusting the cams and the V-wheels on the Y carriage. I've mounted the um, Hall Effect end stop sensor. So while I was here, I took off uh, the two wheels that are on the cams, the, uh, the eccentric cam, and I have a cool little mark so I can see it with the magic marker. I'm going to tighten them. Now I want to tighten my wheels until they're yeah, just a little bit too tight, so they uh, spin freely but have no play. There, so that spins great, no play, great, no play, great, no play. Good. And now I want to turn those eccentric cams so that my marks are out. I'm going to start too tight. Okay, I can tell you from experience that uh, this is easy to get wrong. While I'm here, I want to put my belt back in. Uh, I made that mistake as well, so I get the belt completely between the V-wheels. And I had the, the idler pulley off, so while it's off, it's much easier to slide this on and off instead of trying to adjust the, the wheels while they're on. So, slide this back down the Make your slide. Okay, it's lined back up. And let's see if we can make play. Just a little bit of play. So I'm going to turn the uh, eccentric cam. And I can actually feel when the, when the V-wheel gets tight. So I'm going to back it off just ever so slightly so I still have no play. Just a little bit. Tighten this one. So you can feel when it gets too tight and back it off. noise that you hear is my uh, <clears throat> maker slide is shipped. had a slight nick on the V-rail. but uh, I'm going to live with that, I guess. Okay. All adjusted. Now we just have to put the belt back on and put the idler pulley back on. Alright, I want to test the new end stop and see that I've got everything positioned right. I've powered up my electronics, mainly just to get the 5-volt uh, supply to the Hall Effect sensor. And I'm being very careful with the wires because I haven't uh, wire, uh, sorry, haven't uh, put any shrink wrap on them yet, and I don't want to short anything out. But now I've positioned two of the magnets on top of the T nut um, with the uh, little screw holding the T nut in place, just kind of eyeballing it for the moment. And if all goes well, as soon as the Hall Effect sensor gets over it, and it's not working, it should. Uh, Should light up. So let's see what we've done wrong. I'm going to turn the camera off and debug, and then I'll explain it to you after I figure it out. Okay, I've debugged it. Uh, the Hall Effect sensor, which actually hangs off the end of the board, had gotten bent a little bit when I was uh, drilling and working on this thing. So a good way to test it is uh, I want to make sure I get this in the same orientation is uh, to take one of your free Hall Effect sensors. And now these are polarized, so they'll sense only one direction of the magnet. So you may have to flip your magnets over because you want it to either a north or a south to go through a certain direction. There's a flat on here.